All right, guys. What's up? It's Wrestling Predictions Network. Oh, what a takeover. I think that was one of the best NXT takeovers of all time, to be honest. Now, let's just get the elephant out of the room. Adam Cole beat up Drew McIntyre at the end of the pay-per-view. I'll get into it more. Oh, my God. <sighs> okay, what a pay-per-view. Okay, I'm going to talk a little bit. So, first match was Andrade Cien Almas versus Johnny Gargano. Really good match. It was a nice match. It was a great, like, way to end it, too. Like, throwing a DIY shirt in, like, to get Almas to win. Really good ending. Yeah, so. And then next was Sanity versus Authors of Pain. That was a really good match. God, that was epic, though. And then Sanity wins. That was crazy. I didn't think they were going to win. And then the Red Dragon freaking Green Davies as a tag team. Kyle Riley and freaking... I can't remember his name. I'm, like, spacing out right now. But, you know, it's okay. Um, But, yeah, that happened. And then Alistair Black or Sade Otami was a great match, honestly. I think, yeah, it was really good. It, Hideo lost, but it both men looked extremely strong in the end because Hideo absolutely like battered Alistair Black during the whole entire match. So that was ridiculous. Then. Asuka versus Ember Moon. Really good match. Asuka retained, which I think was a good idea. And it looks like Ember Moon's probably going to be going to main because she, like, got the whole NXT, like, thank you or whatever. Like, the cheers at the end. And then Elephant in the Room. Drew McIntyre versus Bobby Roode was a really good match. Good wrestling. And Drew McIntyre won. And once again, WWE swerves us at the end. We saw, like, the little WWE All Rights Reserved thing in the corner. Then you hear cheering. You're like, oh, what's that? Is that Adam Cole? Red Dragon is in the corner. Drew McIntyre gets distracted by him. Adam Cole runs into the back of the ring. Starts beating the crap out of Drew McIntyre. Oh, my gosh. What a take over Brooklyn man that was pretty much it I got that in pretty fast um so Brandon didn't end up doing predictions for that so I'm guessing he's out of SummerSlam too but my friend Alex did and tomorrow I'll be counting up like the points from that and we'll be doing my SummerSlam predictions as well so See you guys tomorrow for SummerSlam. Bye.